In this series of talks, I am focusing on my appreciation of how Pope Francis shares the gospel message, how he makes people smile as they think about spiritual issues. He makes us listen as he gives us very serious gospel-rooted challenges. Since we are all called through baptism to share the gospel message with others, we can learn from Pope Francis's style and then apply what we learn in our own life. In this particular talk, I will focus on one aspect of Pope Francis's style, taking risks. When a person is named Pope, they find themselves suddenly in the public eye and people are listening to everything that they say and watching everything that they do and drawing conclusions from that. This could make a Pope become extremely cautious for fear of being misunderstood and criticized. Plus, with the papacy, there comes a long tradition on how a Pope does things in the public arena. But we can clearly see from Pope Francis's actions that he is a person who is willing to take risks, to move in directions that in the public eye are way out of the ordinary. This risk-taking began from the very moment he stood out on the balcony after being named Pope. He did not give his first blessing right away, but first asked the crowd to pray for him. He did not use the usual platform that would elevate him above others on the balcony, but said, I will stay down here. With these very simple actions, he was sending a message that could be easily understood by all who saw him. Pope Francis was telling us that we are all in this together, living our lives and struggling with spiritual issues, that we need each other, that we need to respect each other, and we need to pray for each other. He could easily have said these things, but by his use of symbolic actions, he spoke in an even more powerful way. Next, I want to look at the gathering of the Synod of Bishops. Pope Francis approached this assembly in a new way. Pope Francis openly sought out the opinions of the bishops, knowing that they would be diverse. He took a risk to create an environment of open dialogue so that the best pastoral approaches could be discerned through mutual discussion. Pope Francis showed that he wanted to discover the will of God and showed that it was through open, respectful dialogue that this path could be best understood at this time in history. What trust Pope Francis shows in humanity. That given space, we as the people of God can dialogue together and through that discussion come to a deeper understanding of the gospel. Pope Francis's risk-taking continues when he establishes various advisory groups to deal with countless Vatican issues. It was a risk. When he walks to the back of the plane, when he travels to speak with reporters, that is a risk. When he reaches out to leaders of other faith traditions, that is a risk. When he washed the feet of refugees on Holy Thursday, that was a risk. 
the Pope is taking risks through unusual actions to get us thinking as a church and as a society. His actions could be taken in many ways and upset numerous people. But the Pope sees the risk as necessary to promote the kingdom of God. Through the powerful use of symbols, the Pope allows us to hear what he is sharing about the gospel, and at the same time, challenging us to think about the issues from a new perspective. I find my first reaction is to smile and say, what is going on now? And that first reaction then leads me to think about the gospel value the Pope is focusing on. I don't feel forced to think about the issue, but rather invited to think about the issue. And because of this unique approach, I find that I'm seeing a lot of people eagerly thinking about what the Pope is pointing to. Clearly, taking the risks he is taking is producing results. Having then considered the ways that the Pope takes risks, we can ask a few questions. What is our attitude about the Pope taking risks? What is our attitude about risk-taking in our own life? Does the fear of being misunderstood affect the way we approach life? Are there risk-takers who we know and admire. May the Holy Spirit guide our thoughts and reflections on how to consider taking risks. May the Holy Spirit guide our thoughts and reflections on how best to take risks as we share the gospel message. God bless.